Hi Ashley, it's Mark Kent here at Twin Falls Volkswagen. Just been working with Daniel on this for you. I wanted to make a video just to show you some of the updates they did on these Tiguans now. Because uh, a lot of the equipment now that are on them, on the SEs, were reserved for just SELs in prior years. So I'll show what they are. Um, but here are the two. Here's the white and the gray one right next to each other. They are exact same price. So even the, the incidental options, like the mats or if they have privacy shades, are exactly the same. So it's like, take your pick. But they did a front and body refresher, all LED lights. You got 360 sensors all the way around it that was usually reserved for um, um, SELs, okay? They have power lift gates now on the SEs. Again, that was only reserved for SEL, okay? So I'll show you. And I like the updated badging in the back. When you see 4Motion, that's their all-wheel drive system. Um, same idea with like the, the Quattro in the, uh, in the Audi. So there's your power lift gate. A lot of space in these, okay? And then they have the keyless entry. I think they had that already too, but just making sure. Keyless entry, blind spot monitoring is in the side mirrors right here. Um, adaptive cruise control. I love that. And then they have the um, remote start too. Again, that was only on SELs before. And what's cool is, and I can show you or set you up with it when you're ready to go. Um, you can remote start it from your phone. There's an app you get free for five years called CarNet. You can start your um, um, car from your phone and it tells you that it's running. It'll tell you if your doors are open, if you left them unlocked. So the idea is I leave work here and I know I'm leaving in 20 minutes. I'll, start re I'll remote start it from my office and I don't have to go out there and make sure it's running. It shows you. Digital screen on here that's also was only reserved for SELs. Um, they updated the buttons in here too. There's your heat, your dual climate control, wireless phone charger right here, and then you got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And this button's pretty cool here too as well. I just discovered this on my Taos. Is it's called Travel Assist. So it does have lane departure warning with that adaptive cruise. And then if regular lane departure warning's on, it, mo like most other models, is if it's on and you get near um, um, a line on, on the on the road, it'll like it'll get near it and it'll pinball you back to the other side, pinball you back. But then when you hit tri tri travel assist, they use the adaptive cruise to hold you back, but also keeps you in the middle of the lane and keeps you very centered so you're not pinballing like that. Um, it's recommended for for um, highway driving only. You could use it in town, but it doesn't like to take huge angled turns, but it will turn you slightly. But I like that. And then there's your big panel roof too. So a lot of upgrades in these. Um, we got them here ready to go. That's the biggest advantage right now. I mean, we, a year and a half ago, I'd say, here, we got 20 of them, take your pick. Uh, it's not the case right now. So that's the only hype, I guess, I put on it. Um, but let me know which way you're leaning. Again, we got the white or the platinum gray, which is right next to it. Again, identical inside, okay? Um, I'll work with Daniel, figure something out. Appreciate you watching.